Hello friends, welcome. Now, here we are in the post show page. And in this video, I'm going to work with uh, comments. I'm going to add a form here. And if we are logged in, we can comment to this post. And then display all the comments belong to this post. Okay, for that, I have prepared this. So we need to create the controller, create the route, then add the form and create the relationships between the models. And I'm going to create the comment resource and display all the comments belong to this one. Okay, so one by one, let's create the controller. And I'm, I'm going to open my terminal and say here, artisan make controller post comment controller. Okay, then let's go and create the road. In here, let's open the web roads. And I'm going to copy this and duplicate it down there. R and then slash comments. The route is going to be post because we're going to post the comment and then front end commit posts. Let's just remove this and let's say front end posts comments like this. Now let's open the post controller. Oh, we need to change not post controller, but post comment controller. And let's simplify this one. And the method is going to be store, not show. So let's go now in the post comment controller here and create the store method. Public function store. And what we need in here, we need the community slug and the post. So let's say dollar sign community slug and also let's say post dollar sign post. Like this. Now down there, I'm going to say the last sign post. Comments, we need to create the relationship. And let's say create. Okay, but first let's go and create the relationship. Let's go in the post and here we don't have the relationship for the comments. So let's say public function. Comments and here return dollar sign this as many comment class. Okay, and because we are here, let's create also the community relationship. So public function community and let's say return dollar sign of this is going to belong to the community class. Okay, now let's open the comment and here I'm going to create also the relationship public function post just to have here return the last sign of this belong to the post class. Okay, and because we are here, let's create also the user. And let's return dollar sign. This is going to belong to the user. Okay, now we have the relationship. And here I'm going to say now for the comment, we have the user ID, the post ID and the content. So let's uh, the post ID is going to be automatically because we say here post comment. For the user ID, I'm going to say user ID is going to be auth ID. So the authenticated user and for the content, 
I'm going to say request and I'm going to use the facade input content. Okay, now after we create that, let's return for now, just return back. And let's import this one. I think we have a request here. Yeah. Let's import this. Okay. Next one. So let's open the notion. Now we need to add the form. In the Chrome, I have prepared this form here for the comment. So let's select all copy and I'm going to add after the URL here. So now let's open the show page inside the Content posts here. And I'm going to close this. And after this one, I'm going to add a div. And in this div, add the four. Let's come here and yeah, it is just uh, I'm going to add also the horizontal line. Okay. Now for the form here, we need to say on submit dot prevent and I'm going to create a submit for a method, sorry. So let's open the edit view inside the post and I'm going to copy what we have here. So the form and also the method submit. Okay, let's copy and let's come here and paste it. Right here, we need to create a const here, const props. It's going to be with define props and the community and the post. Now for the form, we need to also import the use form. Let's remove this show we don't use. Yeah, automatically we have imported the use form here because we passed well, that one. Now uh, we need here only the content. So let's say content, which is going to be by default an empty string. And here we say form post not put the route is frontend dot post dot comments we need the props comment slug and also the props post data slug because if I come here and inspect the element go to the view show inside the post we have the data and then we have the slack so props post dot data dot slack like this also we need to add the content in the text area here so let's say we model form dot content like this now let's check again. We have the form, we added the submit content here. Form submitter post to this route. Okay, in the post comment controller, we created the store. We say comments create user ID. I think we are okay. Let's try. Let's say my first comment. Click comment and syntax error. Where is this error? Okay, inside the comment model. Let's open the comment model and here we need to say something like this. 
Okay, let's go back. And now the user ID cannot be null because we are not logged in. So we need to hide also this if we are not logged in. So let's go in the PHP storm, in the show when we have the form. So with this div, I'm going to say v if the dollar sign page dot props dot auth dot auth check. And if I come here now, yeah, we don't see that. If I go and log in as a test user, go to this one. And yeah, now we see that. Now let's try again. First comment, comment here. Nothing happened, but if I come here and refresh, we have that uh, first comment. Okay. Now I want to clear this form and also show the. I want to show the the display all the po all the comments belong to this post. So for that I'm going to create the comment resource and then display all the comments. So let's go here and say artisan make resource comment resource. Okay. Open that comment resource. And what we need to return. So I'm going to return the content and also the username because I'm going to say here commented by the username and the content. So let's say here user name is going to be dollar sign this user username like this and the content is going to be the last sign this content. Now let's open also the post show resource and here I'm going to display the comments and say comment resource collection and say dollar sign this and I'm going to show when loaded the relationships of the comments but to work this we need to go in the controller so post controller in the front end and here post we need to say post with comments like this. And now if I uh, refresh, inspect the element, go to the view, show, and inside the post we have the data and we have the comments, the object with only the content and the username. Okay, now I want to display all the comments belong to this. For that I have prepared this list here. I'm going to copy and let's go now inside here in the show. After this div I'm going to add another horizontal line and say add a div and inside this I'm going to paste that one. Now here we can say v4 v4 comment in 
post.data.comments add the key which is going to be let's say here comment and also the index because we don't have the id and let's say here index okay now here is going to be the username so let's display that user name but we need to say comment username so comment dot username here and the content is going to be in here so comment dot content like this and as you can see here we have commented and the content but let's just change text small font semi bold and I'm going to say here text slate 700 and also here say add a class with text slate 600 here and I think we are okay and maybe commented by here so commented by like this commented by test and also let's add here margin 2 and padding 2 yeah commented by test now if I say second comment yeah we display the second comment down there just I want also to clear this when we send the comment I don't want to have this second comment again here so let's go in the show and when we send the form we can add another an option here and say on success on success I'm going to say for dot uh, reset and what we need to reset the content like this come here and now third comment comment this and yeah we display the comment and also now we have clean the text area here okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one now let's push to the github and if you are wondering what uh, terminal i use I, I use the warp i just saw in one video yesterday and i think is good so let's say git add git commit and i'm going to say here added the comment system okay let's say git push now everything okay very good friends so see you in the next one all the best